Sing praise to our God, all you who fear God, both small and great, for now salvation and strength have come in the power of his Christ. Alleluia. We begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. To begin our celebration, we prepare ourselves to meet our God in word and sacrament by taking a quiet moment of reflection, look in our lives for those moments of grace, and thank God for his gift. Recognizing sin in our lives, we seek God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners to redemption. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who restores to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy and faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Be seated, listen to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas for Derby. After they had proclaimed the good news, in that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed priesters for them in each church and with prayer and fasting, commended them to the Lord in whom they have put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, then they went down to Antalia. From there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they have now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported that God had done with them and how he had opened the doors of the faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. The response, your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let, the, let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might in the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known the glorious splendor of your kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. 
Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. Alleluia. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away, and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happened, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. When I was in graduate school working on my master's degree in economics, I lived at the Georgia High School on Capitol Hill. And the, so I did my research um, with the best library in the world, uh, the Library of Congress. Um, and uh, I would work in the main reading room on this great rotunda this, in the, with this beautiful fresco dome uh, rising above it. Um, they've got these long benches that you sit on or curve to follow the shape of the room. And if you were uh, someone who was registered with them doing research, they would give you a shelf in a, a room off of the place. And so you would just fill out cards with the book you wanted and they would just be delivered to the shelf. Um, and it was quite wonderful. Um, but even though I was in this you know, glorious, uh, Baroque uh, room working on, on this stuff that I still needed to take those important moments known as study breaks. And I'd get up and go wandering around. And the Library of Congress uh, is not just uh, a working library. It was built for the members of Congress to do their research on important issues, but is open to everyone to, uh, to look at many things. But it also serves as something of a, a, a tourist place where then they have exhibitions for things. So there are various things that I would go look at. Um, uh, I'd go check out the readings that they had that they displayed uh, on their Gutenberg Bible, you know, kind of the, the greatest book that any collector could have. They have at least one at the, the Library of Congress. But they had galleries off to the side from uh, those main entry areas, and, and they displayed various things in them. And there was an exhibition going on while I was there. It was quite interesting to me. It was Japanese calligraphy. And so uh, it was the work of uh, one Japanese artist, calligrapher. Um, and so you had all these scrolls that would come down and, and uh, the kanji characters um, uh, done on them. And, uh, Black India ink or something such as this. And uh, so I'd go look at these things. I can't read kanji. I didn't know what they said. I'd, have to, I'd read the card, uh, you know, displaying it. But they, along with his work, they had the story of how he did this. And that just uh, struck me as awe inspiring. Um, he would lay out, take the, the scroll he was going to work on, and he would spread it out before him. And he would uh, put a map there and he would uh, get down on his knees. He had his brushes laid out in his little pot of ink sitting there. And he would start to meditate. And uh, sometimes he could sit there or kneel there uh, 10, 12 hours before anything would happen. So uh, the moment came when uh, he would get up, take up his brush, dip it in the ink and go through and do these kanji characters, sometimes 
a work of art from him. Uh, would take 12 hours of meditation, 45, 50 seconds of, uh, of, of writing. Um, and I thought of uh, him and that work today is, uh, is we have Jesus uh, at the Last Supper telling them about uh, giving them peace and what that peace means. Um, that artist sat there till he was ready, till every, uh, every little void in his body was uh, ready for this moment, that he was at, at perfect peace with the world and this would drive him to, to do what he was doing. And Jesus is explaining to them the peace that he's given. He says, not as the world gives, do I give it to you. Um, uh, what was the world around them? Well, uh, the world of Rome, the Roman Empire. The great Pax Romana we talk about, you know, it, it was just the one time in recorded human history when nobody in the world was at war. It's a, a little brief period in Caesar Augustus's reign. Uh, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Um, but he's telling them, this Pax Romana uh, isn't my peace. Um, uh, what's the Pax Romana? Well, uh, it was a lack of war um, enforced by the power of Roman legions. Um, there was no wars going on because they had conquered everything within their, uh, their reach. And they enforced it strictly, um, so much so that within 24 hours of Jesus saying this, uh, he himself would be a victim of the Pax Romana. As those Roman, same Roman uh, soldiers would uh, nail him to a cross uh, as a common, the most common of criminals and put him to death. Why? Because he was stirring up people. He was a rabble browser, um, defying the divinity of uh, the great Tiberius Caesar. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. He's telling them that you know, God's peace is something different. It's not uh, a lack of violence. It's not a lack of, of worry. It's not a lack of any of these things. It's a state of being, uh, of letting God into your life letting God in full relationship, uh, feeling his presence in you. And in doing so, it takes away uh, fear and anxiety. Um, it doesn't take away events that may cause it, uh, but it lets you confront uh, what it is that we face in our world, um, uh, that we can uh, accept these things, um, uh, recognizing that, uh, there's more than, than any of this. Um, and that uh, is that great cliche always says, this too will pass. Um, everything will pass except God's peace. Um, with, your, with your eyes on the goal, and keep it there. Let's gather our prayers and bring them before our God. Let us pray for peace in our world. Ask that uh, God's spirit of peace fills the minds and hearts of all men and women. This we pray to the Lord. Lord. We pray for the church um, in gratitude for God's word and God's sacraments, in gratitude for God's peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord. We pray for our country. Um, ask that God watch over and bless our, our leaders with, with his wisdom. Um, that God watch over and protect those charges, our safety. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our, our school and our mission of Catholic education, a mission begun by Jesus and continued to this day. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for the repose of soul of Bobby Unzer, a retired race driver from my youth who passed away this weekend. Um, uh, he's one of the groups that uh, insisted that they have a mass before these races on the weekend. Um, uh, he and his brother and, uh, and the others along with Andretti uh, started that. And so that uh, uh, 
God may welcome him to paradise, we pray to the Lord. For your intention. Lord, hear our prayer. 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 Loving God, we come before you bringing you our hopes and desires. This year we've given voice, others are held silently in our hearts, but all of them we offer to you for your Son, Jesus Christ, our brother and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. It is the gift of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray these offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his family, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself to be the priest the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers of the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, once up was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Bishop Walter, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Robert, whom you've called from this world to yourself. And that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Francis and Claire, and all the saints that please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs of eternal life. And may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior is commanded, formed by divine teaching. Let's raise our voices in the prayer taught to us by Jesus himself, Father, who art in heaven. Power be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, may the body and blood of Christ be a safe eternal life.
Christ, we believe that we should also live with Christ. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you. Thank you.